Hi guys, I hope you're all okay. Today I thought I'd take you through what's inside Harrison's Christmas Eve box. It's a new tradition here. <laughs> this is the box, which I'm so, so excited about. Um, obviously Harrison's only two. His first Christmas, he was just too young, although he did still get very spoiled. His second Christmas, we was in New York. And so this is the first Christmas where we can really like go to town on little details and making it super magic and special. So I've put together this little box and I'm really, really excited to show you what's inside. Rebecca Meldrum, or Mrs Meldrum as you may already know her, has also done a Christmas Eve box for her two little girls. So make sure you head over to her channel to see what she's put inside hers. Her YouTube channel is amazing, her videos are gorgeous, her two little girls are gorgeous, she is gorgeous, so just make sure that you head over there and subscribe if you haven't already. So, let's get on and show you what's inside this box because I'm just too excited about it. So, for the box itself, I've used one of our wooden crates. We have these all over the house to have, like store Harrison's toys in. This was actually from Sainsbury's. Um, a couple of years ago now which we painted white but you can get them on ebay like really cheap this is just a small one and i've decorated it with like sweet treats and christmas tree decorations that are from i think sainsbury's and tesco's and i think a cute little gift store so yeah i really like the way it looks although i'm sure it won't look like that for long the first thing that is inside this box is a little Santa sleigh which is made up of a Kinder Father Christmas which Harrison will love because he's obsessed with Kinder and Kinder eggs, a Kit Kat and two little candy canes. One of my friends actually put this in a little box for Harrison and I managed to sneak it away before he really like realised what it was and I thought I'll pop that in his Christmas Eve box. I think it's just such a really simple idea but it's so effective and very Pinterest. Next I picked up a packet of stickers which is just like a whole load of stickers, it's a three pack and they were from Hobbycraft, Harrison loves stickers, what kid doesn't um, and these were only a pound so I just thought you know what, they'll end up everywhere, they'll end up on all of our socks I'm sure but yeah really cute little idea and it keeps him busy on Christmas Eve. I decided to put in one of Harrison's Christmas presents, just like a little set of five cars. I picked this up in Sainsbury's when they had their toy sale. Um, I think it was only about three pounds. But this is just a toy that's gonna keep him busy again on Christmas Eve and just kind of give him a little bit of excitement for what's to come. Last Christmas, one of my aunties gifted Harrison this, but we didn't actually see her until after Christmas. So I popped it away for this year. And it is a kitchen craft mug and cookie tray set which we're going to leave out for Father Christmas on, of course, Christmas Eve. Um, this is actually, I've taken them out of the box already. So a perfect little toddler size Father Christmas mug, which is gorgeous and perfect for Father Christmas because I hear he loves tea now. Um, and a little tray that says thank you Santa. So we'll leave him a little treat on that. I think that's a really cute idea. And I'm really pleased that we got one last year because perfect for the box. This book we've had since Harrison's first Christmas, there's a little note in it from my mum and dad um, and yeah he got this on his first Christmas but he just, he was too young to really enjoy it. It is the Jolly Christmas Postman which I'm sure you've all heard about, it's a bit of a classic and it just has lots of little things so little notes, postcards, I think there's a puzzle in here somewhere. It's just a really lovely book and I really hope that we can sit down on Christmas Eve and read this together because it is such a lovely book and I think he can enjoy this now. I picked up a few more books in um, Smith's Toy Store, they were £2 each. So a Paw Patrol one because Harrison loves Paw Patrol as you may know, um, The Little Mermaid because he's really into that at the moment and also The Good Dinosaur because who doesn't love Arlo? I thought they were really cute and also <laughs> to be honest with you, on Christmas Day if Harrison opens these underneath the tree, he would just kind of disregard them. He wants the toys. So I just thought I'd pop these into his Christmas Eve box and he'll really be able to enjoy them. Another little something that we've got here to leave out for Father Christmas and the reindeers is the reindeer food because they get hungry and it's nice to leave them out a little treat. 
Um, we'll probably leave out a little carrot as well for them, but this is nice and healthy for them. I picked up Harrison this little mashem, a Paw Patrol mashem. I'm guessing these are like little collectible squidgy toys, but Harrison will get so much enjoyment out of these. He loves like little figures that you could hold and play with, so he will love this. To be honest, he'll probably play with this the most over Christmas. And then last but by no means least, I mentioned in a vlog these before, um, I was on the hunt for the perfect pair of Christmas pyjamas, couldn't find any that were like beautiful until Mamas and Pumpers sent these over and they are just stunning. I love them. I was originally going to keep them out and just have him wear them like throughout the whole of December but then I thought I really don't want them to get ruined so we're saving these for best and I'm just going to pick him up like a cheap little pair for December time and then I picked him up these little um, like high slipper socks. They're super warm and comfy and they've got the little slip things at the bottom. They were from Sainsbury's and they were a pound. So yeah, that is our Christmas Eve box. It's empty now, but yeah, I really love how it looks. Love to know if you have any family traditions at Christmas, what you do for your children, what your kids love. Um, and don't forget to go and check out Rebecca Meldrum's channel because she is a dream. Um, but yeah, it is Christmas, so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, it is free. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.